technology is a good thing, right? Well, when it comes to consumers, sure. But John Stossel says the government hates technology. And how he could, joins us live. How could that be? Well, the government just hates everything that they don't give permission to. So they're passing a thousand new rules every week. So the beauty of uh, the technology we got, Silicon Valley, Seattle, where Microsoft is, farthest capitals from Washington, D.C., no accident. So, <laughs> but now these 3D printers show that, gee, maybe gun control, all these laws we pass, it, they don't matter because now you can make them at home, and that drives the regulators crazy. This is interesting, too. It was Cody Wilson who invented the 3D printer called the Liberator, right? Tell us about this and why, they, why they're having issues. He posts the specs on the Internet. And the State Department orders him to take them down, and he does. But by then, they've been downloaded 100,000 times. So we go and ask, well, why are you doing this? And he says, look, I just want to show the cats out of the bag. They, they can't regulate guns anymore. They ought to get used to it. Right, and that's a problem with technology, because if somebody invents something brand new, the government hasn't had a time to regulate it. And in Europe, they have something called the precautionary principle, which sounds good. Don't do anything unless you're sure it's safe. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, it also means don't do anything for the first time. And that kills Absolutely. innovation. And you're saying, is that, is that the premise of, like, it kills the incentive to be innovative? Well, also, you don't have, can't, you're not allowed to do it legally unless you go kiss the regulator's ring. Right. Or, all these rules. or grease them. Or agree something, uh, yeah. Or they've said that they just can't do it as well. I mean, we're seeing now websites, even for Obamacare, they can't function yet when it's set to take place on Tuesday. Right. Uh, though that's not regulated. That's just government and though new right. things often. Sure. Uh, Speaking of government, you refer to public schools as government schools, and you think that uh, America's kids would be better served if they got out of the government schools and into private schools via vouchers. The Stossel like Academy. That. I've been campaigning for that, and that's why the teachers' unions have protested outside they my office you. sometimes. But think about it. Why do we call them public schools? Can you just walk in? A private no. supermarket is much more open to the public than the right. public schools. And the beauty of competition everywhere else in life, the reason you're good at Fox and Friends and we have a new couch, right. is because we're competing against people. But government schools, no matter how bad they get, they never close them. No. Now at least we have some charter schools, some right. competition. That'll make things better. But even in the better of the public schools, right, they have, uh, they're unschooling. They're saying um, 9 plus 3 can be 11, depends how you get there. I mean, we've got Common Core. And... There are these experiments, and now they want to unify everything. But how can you improve unless there are alternatives Jeff. and a parent can see, hey, that kid's learning more than my kid. I want to switch. You talk about being protested. I don't believe it. So you brought some tape with you. Uh, this is uh, Stossel being welcomed? Not really. Yeah. Hundreds of union teachers once showed up outside my office to shout, shame on me, because I question union rule. Why have tenure? Most professions don't have tenure. Now a school reform movement is spread to other countries, and unions there don't like it either. Let me hear your voice! Well, that's the problem with speaking the truth. But experiments are blossoming outside the union and the bureaucracy.